What was the madhouse probably on Mondays? It was a madhouse on Friday. They say it's, it's say, they say it could be any day. They just don't know. Who? What company? Who are the people that? Come eighty. Up quality got eighty different companies they worked with. Oh, oh. JB Hunt, Super oh. Service, A&F Kinda, fucking Interstate, uh, Air Ford. Um, we might just luck out because it's a holiday. Ain't nobody being yeah, right. Some drivers just fuck like that. <laughs> <laughs> What did he say? What, what is that new? He ain't got no decals. He got the he got the thing in the window. If they're gonna give you a piece of paper, you gotta stick it in the window. Tape it in the window. That's how you drive. Now it's gonna say not for hire. Ah, okay. I thought it was supposed to be on the door. Nah, it gotta be in the window so they can see why he's driving on the road. Okay, ask ask what you doing in here. Yeah, uh, here at the uh, at the place where we pick up the trucks. Gonna grab some shit over here. They ain't gonna let us in to eight, so roll with a couple of people down here in Indiana. By the way, Indianapolis, Indiana, driving that new Malibu twenty. What is it? Twenty seventeen, twenty eighteen, twenty sixteen, whatever year it is. It's that our new Malibu. I don't know about that. They all the same damn car, just a different year. It's all nice though. Anyways, like I said, they open at uh, they open the gate at eight. Time for some money. That's right. Morning. It's time for some money. It depends though. We might not get no money. You walk over here. Get a piece of shit. I just need a truck that's gonna last a hundred thousand miles. Then they can have that motherfucker back. A hundred thousand miles. That's all I need. Really, I need fifty thousand miles to do me good. <laughs> I need that bitch around here. But don't forget, once I get this motherfucker, I'm staying out on the road until it's time to turn that whole back in. So he I mean, nah. Oh shit, he's going on. I mean, I just took a month off though. I've been at home for a whole month, so I'm staying out the whole. I probably gonna stay out until maybe winter time. Then they gotta have this shit back. I ain't built like that. Wow. That's a long fucking time. <laughs> yeah, that's how you gotta do like it. That. They ain't never, they ain't ever, I ain't never going in the hole. They ain't no such thing as a hole for me. What time y'all got? Well, it depends. You know, I live by the terminal, so I, I probably can't get home. Hey, she told me I talked to the girl in Jacksonville. She said she ain't got no drivers that ain't doing at least twenty four hundred a week. New truck or oldest truck? I don't know yet. I, don't, I know I ain't getting nothing new. I really want the oldest thing they got, twenty twelve. Uh huh. I want none of that new. Oh, cause I don't, I don't care about the truck breaking down. I got me a maintenance for I put that some bitch in the shop. I take a plane home, come back later. They got a CDL school, a CDL school going on right here too. I don't know if they uh practicing bagging or what. I like Pro Stars, but they gotta have the right engine. Buddy. Yeah. They must have bought a used trailer. Here go all, I bet all these people right here getting trucks. Look at this shit. Ah, they going back to work. Oh, really? They're selling on headquarters. Oh, okay. Ah, they must gotta be at work at eight o'clock then. Ah, okay. Look, looks like we the first persons here. 8 o'clock, we're going to the gate. See, they don't go to the gate. Make sure I got my camera. I got to do some YouTube videos. Nah, I ain't buying no truck. I ain't getting out of single penny for me. Nah, this ain't YouTube. This is uh, Facebook Live right here.
Oh, you gonna go live now? Yeah, I said, but I can't do it. That's my hero. Oh, yeah, that's right. Real tanning camera. She's that. She's a pro, man. That's why you making that money for me. What's the name of the company? Y'all wanna know who I'm working for, don't you? Hey, he don't mind signing up for everything. Hey, he in he there signing up for He applying it for everything. That's possible, man. Uh huh. There's about what 13 people here. I'm over here at Interstate. That's the company I'm at. Yeah, I'm at Interstate. I'm making a YouTube video on Friday. Let people know I'm at Interstate. Since we done talked to safety now, we done talked to. We can't get fired like the Wright brother now. We talked to him personally. I just need. I need to go back and get him on tape. Put him on tape. Make him do a YouTube video with me. Let everybody know. I gotta be making sure I don't get fired. I don't know what truck, I'm gonna get all the trucks over here. I gotta go over there and pick one up. I think this whole front row right here look like a piece of shit. They got a train and trucks right here. Is it eight o'clock? At 7.55 we hopping to, uh... ah, okay. We got, we got 20 more minutes to go. They ain't gonna let us see in the age. We got a uh, uh, King Bishop from YouTube. He rolled with me down here. Yeah, I get to I get to choose any of these trucks on the lot. Anything that's in this gate, they got a couple of rolls. But not all these trucks work. So I mean, you can go over there and do some pre-trips. Not all of them work. But they signed it up real nice though. They put some some nail polish on there and you know make it look all good. They don't know how it work, but this is what we drive though. Check out the new Malibu. Brand new Malibu. Always riding new. Look at all that new. Tell me about all this new. I'm just playing. Oh yeah, I'm in Interstate. That's the company I'm working at. Interstate distributor. I live down the street from the terminal. Everybody thought I was at Prime, but we got fired from Prime, so I can't ever go back. I can go back, but they gonna want their uh, they gonna want their uh, they payment from the CDL school. I think I owe them like three thousand or something. But of course, if you leave, it don't go on your credit. So most people don't know that. It's top secret. If you leave the CDL company, they're going to threaten to put it on your credit. But here I am a year later, and uh, nothing's on my credit. So, clearly they ain't getting their money, and I don't plan to go back. Just like these trucks over here, you turn this shit in, it don't go on your credit. No Volvo. This Kenworth or Peterbilt. I'm really more basing it on the engine than the truck. Really, I mean, if it's if it's got a power inverter and the APU, that's gonna uh, be top pick. But they're going Peterbilt right there. We got a red peak right there, but it looked like it's 2007. Maybe we can find something over here that they got EGR. One thing about all these trucks, they all gonna have EGR problems. So uh, that's already a $2,000 bill. Replace the DEL filter. I mean, they might last, you might get a couple of months out of it before they, before you have to replace the DEL filter. I don't know who a uh, parking lot I'm taking over. Guess that's another person trying to pick a truck. We tried to get here early in the morning. We left about we left at midnight. It was a six-hour drive from Nashville all the way up here. Got here, they won't even let us in the gate. Tell us, telling us to wait 20 more minutes. It's gonna rain too. My jacket on. Ain't got no jacket. Nah, I'm gonna pull down on you. Truck ain't over. Hold on. Oh, it is 
What motor? If they got a damn cat over there, that's the most reliable motor you're gonna get, but they ain't got that. I tell you the worst motor, you go over there and pick you out a match for us, doomed to fail. <laughs> doomed to fail. I would say cat, then Cummins or Detroit, depending on which one. That's really your only three options. They ain't gonna have no caterpillars over there. I mean, if you can find your Cummins IS it's 15, That'll be good. I don't know about the DD-15. They might be good. I don't, I don't got no experience with Detroit. But you talking about a Mats Force engine? Can't run no business with no damn Mats Force. Unless you got a bigger maintenance fund, then you know, maybe you can. Look at all our stuff back here. We got it packed. Just so y'all know, I'm in Interstate. I got my little bandit right here. So y'all what we talking about it's the interstate. So it's out of the paperwork. Uh, this might be a book. Uh, my bag. Way back there. <laughs> That's his book. <laughs> my bag. It's all good. They just need to sit man. You gotta pay me to put me on your Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> That's trying to work. Yeah, All you need is a uh, hat. It ain't gonna rain shit. too hard. Ain't no dark clouds. Oh, you straight there. Yeah, that's why I said I'm good. Yeah. First 17 days, we ain't got no truck payment. Tell you the truth, I'm trying to make ten thousand dollars by the end of the month. Well, the beginning of the month they started. By the end of June, ten thousand dollars in my pocket. Matter of fact, we already made three thousand dollars off of orientation. Have they paid? Have you? They put your uh, three thousand dollars in your account. Get that. You don't get the bonus? No, sir. You get the bonus? Yeah, but what are they gonna put it? They ain't gonna give it off the top. They supposed to? Uh, what? Did you get the six thousand dollar bonus like I did? Okay, so three thousand you're supposed to get now. The other three thousand is within what uh, six months? They gonna split that up? Nah, you get three, three up, thirty five hundred go towards. Uh, yeah, your maintenance. If uh, if the maintenance plates. Got an escrow and if the place registration. Yeah. Right off the top, one hundred okay. what a hundred and fifty dollars for going to orientation I've yesterday. I've been waiting since last Friday to get a fucking truck. It can pour down. I'm gonna be out here still opening doors. Daddy coming home with a truck. Damn. The interstate of set new drivers. Less than six months experience? I don't know what the experience level is to work in interstate. Um, how many years, how many uh, months of experience you need to work in interstate? The owner operator, you gotta have at least a year. Yeah, you gotta be. You gotta have a year, um, a year experience to come over here and be an owner operator. I don't know about a company driver. How many people you got shut up in your lab? Ain't nothing but like that. Happy. <laughs> it's early morning. I put no notice up. You think they got maintenance records on these trucks? Huh? You think they got maintenance records with these trucks? Well, I, I ain't getting nothing used. <laughs> <laughs> you see anything new though? I, that's what I see did. that blue Volvo right there. That look like some shit right there. That look like that, trouble. That shit ain't blue, that shit green. Is it green it's now? A, it's, a, it's a truck behind it. That look like the top of it. That's, that's, it's a green day cab. That's a day cab. Oh, okay. It's a green day cab. And behind it, it looks like a blue, a baby blue Volvo. <laughs> so that like the one Trucker Brown turned in on it. It look like it is. I think that is Trucker Brown truck. <laughs> he turned his shit in Ohio somewhere though. Yeah, it just got that Volvo. Yeah, it did. It didn't last too long. Yeah. Seems like quality only run uh, Pro Stars. A certain amount of trucks in the national every year. 
Seems like they weren't perfect though. Well, at least they ain't having too much trouble with it. But I don't know. No. I worked for Celadon. Oh, okay. My, my terminal was on a Celadon lot. If you worked there, I'm pretty sure you know then. I worked for ANS Kinda on a Celadon lot. Let's see what all we got over there. Is that a freight liner with the pipe on the side? Is that a long star? Yeah. That sound is expensive. That's somebody else. Usually there's going to be a line out here, but we got up early, so the line ain't came yet. Yeah, there's going to be a madhouse in about maybe an hour or two. Oh, yeah, the Firebird. That's security right there, that old lady. That's top flight security y'all talking about. Yeah. She security. She making sure don't none of us get in. Top flight security. Wouldn't you want an uh, old lady guarding your truck? All your trucks and trailers? Sounds like a bright idea. If it was my life, you gotta have armed security. Machine gun at the minimum. Oh, you can charge your phone. Go ahead, let's work. Just pull that one out. Or you can just plug it in. We try to make all kinds of money. I'm just renting the truck. I ain't leasing it. There ain't no lease purchase. There ain't no five year deal, no three year deal. None of that. Now, nah, Trucker Brown, not that in the state. He over at Prime. He don't even got the truck anymore. He turned it in. He should have came to Interstate, but uh, I think he was trying to lease his truck on the Prime. Prime don't take lease trucks because obviously. They lease their own trucks. I got a fan over there waving from the black car. With the orientation, a lot of people recognize me, including them, which is why they ride with me. They needed a ride from orientation all the way up to Indianapolis to pick up a truck. Said they see me on YouTube. Is that right? Here, right here. I need to go get some breakfast. What time I got? Seven fifty-two. We better hop in the car. Oh, we got seven fifty-two. She gonna move this thing up out the way. Oh, she moving. Uh, there he doing. Where he going? I see him moving it back. That yeah, ran dirty. Oh, let me take that off. I had all jacked up. Mm. Coffee bill. I only see what three three cars out here so far. We good. They said they got another lot. They ain't worried about the other lot. If they ain't got what I want on this lot, they ain't got shit on the other lot. Got about five minutes. Go ahead and aim the cob just right so we can just hit the gas pedal right across the street. Now the key, in my opinion, to get one of these trucks is to not get the one with the highest truck note, because I can't afford that shit. <laughs> 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 shit, yeah, I, I was out your plan. I, was like, hey, I, I can't afford it. that shit. Look at that reverse camera right there. That's cool right there. Yeah, I can't. I, if, if they got an older truck and it's got a warranty on it, I'll take that motherfucker. But but that eight nine hundred dollar payment, shit. That's fair, unless you, uh, unless you plan on staying down a long period of time. Because think about it. If, see, this is why I can't get a new truck. You get a new truck, right? You got that, what, eight, nine hundred dollar payment. But then, 
the value of the truck is like two hundred thousand dollars. So that's that much more you gotta pay in insurance. So it's like you basically the truck note two thousand dollars a week. You see what I'm saying? I mean, I think they Peter built to the most reliable trucks, but it's all about what what they got underneath the hood of these Peter builds. Cause I see this red peak right here, but I don't know where. If, if it's a Cummins under there, I'd take it. I really want to see maintenance records though. I don't know. That's all I was trying to figure out. Probably not. They turn the trucks in damn near every day from people that's spelling. Uh -huh. That means all these trucks right here, somebody to use them. But they already got the mud flaps on. See that truck right there got low bars on it. He probably was a refrigerator driver. He probably one of them drivers talking about there ain't no freight pulling their refrigerator trailer. Plenty of produce to go around. Really, both of them freight liners might be. Yeah, what's he doing? Oh, she's an uh, FBI or something? Oh, he don't want nothing. He's just pretending. A little face security guard, that's all. Mm -hmm. Tonto, right? Pull it up like he was trying to tell people to move over here or something. We got something like them VIN numbers down. Grab that pen right there. Yoink. Give me a regular pen. You need a pen? Oh, yeah. I got pens in the truck. Can't believe I'm up here doing this shit. Right, and it ain't easy. It ain't like we got a whole lot of shit. That's the next thing. Hell no. I ain't did a pre trip on the truck and I don't know when. You know what a pre-trip was back in my day? Yeah. <laughs> pre-trip was you go on duty, you spend 15 minutes in Lowe's. <laughs> if 15 minutes was up, then you get back in the truck and take off. <laughs> up there it is, time to go. Is he getting in? What he doing though? I guess he gonna walk across. Lady need to get the fuck out. Oh, she said, come on. Huh? <laughs> Skirt! <laughs> Alright, thank you. Appreciate you. Oh, he's. Ooh, that is a phone call. Both of them. She said, along the fence line. Which way? This way? Shit, she but God damn it, she couldn't be no clear. Oh, he said, left. Oh, my bad. Shit, y'all gotta be much more clear than that. This motherfucker right into it's fucked up. Shit, fuck out of that. Is it, is it? Hit the gas through this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, this is the fence line right here. <laughs> this motherfucker getting hard. Oh, shit. Get the wheel up right quick. Get everything right. Man, dirty little motherfucker. I'm running to a goddamn truck. These trucks so damn fucking hard. Look where we parked, though. They only got two parking spots? They only got two parking spots? Why can't everybody else supposed to park? So this is how it's done. You just like a madhouse. When they say go, you just park your shit, start running to whatever piece of shit you can find. I see a KW right here. 
Can we at least get the truck, the, the, the price of the truck on here? I know most people don't care about the price. Let me put my hood on in case somebody see me from YouTube. Ooh, that's got a mass force engine. That's the devil right there. No, oh, y'all want that. Ooh, look at that right there. That screams how truck note. Look how high that truck note is. It don't say it, but, the, but it look high. Oh, look, this is a truck of brown truck right here. That go to Valvisa right here. Look. That's <laughs> bullshit. I think it is, though. I don't know. If, I don't know. I don't think he hit that Ram guard on there. That look, that shit right there look expensive. You don't want that truck, though. 700? That shit. I ain't paying for appearance. <laughs> I ain't got appearance money. I'm going over here and look at these Peter bills. These look safe over here. That blue peak right there. I saw that Kenworth. Look at Peter bills over here. That look like an 07 right there. It ain't got easy. The Freightliner. I'm looking for Freightliners right now. I ain't looking for brand new. I'm looking for freight. They go Kenworth. They got some more Freightliners up here. They got one right here. They got Celadine written on it. I don't want it. I ain't got one right behind you. What you talking about? That's a lightweight though. I'd take this one if it wasn't no damn. Is this a lightweight though? Ooh, was that Kenworth right here for sale? Kenny. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Wait a minute. This is a T700 right here. Goddamn door. Like, ain't this a bitch? The door's locked. How you gonna sell a truck with the door locked? Wait a minute, I'm gonna check this red motherfucker right here out. First of all, is it a rust bucket? It's got rust on it. Got the APU. Oh, okay, it's open. First step, you gotta smell it first. Man, right, ain't no bad smell in this motherfucker. a couple of things you gotta be checking. That's the test speed. Don't give a fuck about the mileage. It's more about is it enough space in here? It really is. There's plenty of space. But what I'm concerned about is right off the top the damn shifter is fucked up. It's turned cricket. So we're going to run as far away from this goddamn truck as possible because right off the top, what the fuck is this? Oh, hell no. That's all I need to see right there. This is, ooh, this is the devil. <laughs> yeah, run away from this, this hell hole right here. They need to tow this some bitch away. This is a CRS T free ladder right here. I don't really like the back window, but let me look inside. I ain't never seen a CRST truck. Smells kind of funny. Got a little fake refrigerator. It's clean though. How many miles a CRST be doing? It's a team truck, so. Oh, it look like the battery did in this motherfucker. Oh yeah, this is all fucked up. This is devil too. You gotta get Far away from these trucks as possible. Goddamn. Oh, yeah. That's all I need to know right there. That's the devil. I'm trying to walk away from that. So you got to be able to spot the devil as soon as you walk in here. Let me go check out these international pro stars back here. It ain't a lot of people running around with their head cut off today. They go a freight liner. I'm gonna skip it for a second. Matt's Force, that's an automatic skip right there. You 
notice I'm only looking at uh, freight liners. Lock to keep it moving. If it's got cellar die written on it, keep it moving. Mirror broke off, keep it moving. I wouldn't even go that far down. I see a black one down there, but I don't know why it's mass for us to keep it moving. Sometimes you ain't even got to pop the hood. You can spot the devil just by looking at that motherfucker. This right here is good, but I ain't got that, that the, the truck note on it. It's a Kenworth, so you know it's good. Go to Vol Visa DD13. I need 15. I don't even see nobody on this side. Did I check out this blue truck? It's got Celadon written on it. Keep it moving. Celadon. Y'all don't know what to do. What the fuck is that? God damn. Nasty motherfuckers. Now watch where you step coming through here. RWL transfer pro up, match for us, keep it moving. I mean, it's certain trucks. You don't even gotta pop the hood. You already can spot the devil trucks not starting. Say match force on it, got celadine written on it. We need to make a, a list of when you come to a trucking lot, what to avoid immediately at all costs. APU on this. Okay. It's open. In trans and not for how somebody probably got that one there. I keep seeing this black in and out. Got Max Force, keep it moving. These trucks look nice, but the payment don't look nice. Let me see this red piece. Of it. Is this a free liner? I don't know. Looks like somebody living in this motherfucker. Good shot. I don't know what's got this spotlight right here. Could be a heavy haul. I don't know. That right there is a heavy haul. Always keep it moving. Cast Nova taught me that. If it's a heavy haul, everything is wrong with that motherfucker. Everything. I think this right here might have been a uh, heavy haul too. It's got the lights on the side. Wires and shit sticking up. Ooh, at least it cranked. That's better than the last truck over there. What the mile is that? Ooh, one million miles. This is the devil for real. Oh yeah, we gotta act like we didn't even see this. This is the this is engine rebuild. All kinds of shit wrong with this. Oh man, that right there is really the devil right there. That shouldn't even be allowed to be on the company property. Looks like they attempted to put some grease on this. Maybe this one's all right. Let me see. Pro Star, match for us. Keep it moving. Man, if they, if only they had Pro Stars with Cummins engines like the ones Knight got, it would be all right. Red Volvo. This one seems uh, promising. Let me see. It's got the table. Who gives a shit about the table? Where's the key at? See how it's straight? That's how it's supposed to be. So where the hell does the key go? Oh man, this right here is probably we got to keep it moving. If I can't figure out in ten seconds what the hell you put the key in up, the fuck? This is crazy. Is this shit some type of auto start? Fuck it, keep it moving. I ain't got no keyhole. That's all I need to know. Maybe this is it. Now nah, that's the uh. That's the APU. That's crazy. He ain't got no damn keyhole. 
Keep it moving. Heavy haul. Heavy haul. Heavy haul. God damn, his nose is blowing off of that. What is this one? This one seems promising. Pro Star, what is with these match forces? Oh, look, they're doing CDL training. Pro Star, this one don't got. It. Let me see. This Pro Star don't say match force. But it's got a tiny ass engine. And I see Russ. Put the hood back down. It ain't no match for us, but I think it's a rust bucket. Damn, what the fuck am I tripping on now? Let me see. APU. Ooh, this somebody got a beer right here. Don't mind, excuse me. I'm gonna do Celadon, Celadon. That black one look good, but I don't know about the payment. Let me see what this one is. They tried to uh, put some uh, paper down, make it look new or something. Who was they trying to fool? I think it actually is new. Where's the key? Okay, there's a no keyhole right there without no key. Why is it cricket though? Maybe they just come like this. Because this one. I don't know if it's really a new truck, but let's see. Move all this shoe shine out the way. I don't need none of that. None of that. Woo! God damn. Was this the uh, guy that had it before me? Six hundred and ninety five. I need to hold this seat for a second. Oh shit. This right here tell me the truck payments. I'm write the VIN number down on this. Y'all give me a second. Give me a second. I'm coming right back. I just need to write this VIN number down. Right quick. I don't think this particular truck belongs out here. Where's the VIN number at? Oh man. It's supposed to be over here somewhere. Vehicle ID number. Alright, go ahead. Give me a second. T Long ass VIN number? Come on. Yeah, I lost track of what I was doing. Make sure all this match. Fuck it. Good enough. Oh, I'll keep it moving. Heavy haul. See, I got that light. Keep it moving. You always skip the heavy haul trucks. Because when I tell you everything is what's wrong with it, everything is what's wrong with it. It might not look like something wrong with it until you take off with it. You will be in the shop faster than uh, faster than somebody with a match sports engine with a heavy haul truck. He was making a lot of money with it. Best believe this one got in the wreck. I don't want this one. It's got match sports too. They down here practicing the alley dock. Got the Volvo right here. I don't see nobody out here. They didn't got they shit and took off. It's look like a new Volvo. Sold to truck, sold, sold. American Transport. These don't look like they for sale right here. <laughs> Put 
put my hood on for somebody to recognize me. I think all these I sold, they all got sold signs on them. I see all the freight liners are gone. The most reliable trucks that you can find, the freight liners are all gone. By reliable, I mean you can easily get it fixed. So, so, everything back here sold. Yeah, I got sold in the window. Ooh, this one don't say Max Force. Looks like a damn dirty truck, but wait a minute, here's a peep. Let me screw over this way first. Sold. Match Force. Celadar. Pro Store. They match Force, though. Interesting. Let's pop it open. Hopefully, this ain't one of their training trucks. But they just set right here. I think it is. Let's see the engine right quick. I'm thinking Jim. Damn, why it won't open? Wait a minute. Oh, shit, it won't even open. Fuck it. No um, wonder it's got Celadar written on it. Sold. Look at this dude. International right here. That's for us. Nothing wrong on this. International with no mess for us. Ooh, is this a Cummins? Check this filter. It is a Cummins. Let me go and check it out. Damn, this dead. Ain't this a bitch? Come on, sell a dime. Fucking finally find a working truck, son of a bitch dead. You kidding me? Hey, this, I know all about these trucks right away. We gotta get this shit jumped. Wait a minute, hold on. Dog, uh, how you got a, a, a truck with a damn note with a Cummins in it? You ain't even got it working. This must be a rust bucket. Brand new tires, APU, international, not a rust bucket. Maybe everything corroded. Wait a minute. How the hell you open this shit? Hold up. Oh. I can't see shit. Oh, yeah, the battery's all fucked up. Oh, it's a rust bucket. You gotta replace all these batteries. Y'all yeah, can't see under there, but I can. I would open it, but... Shit, if I knew how, it needs brand new batteries, but... That's probably a bad sign. It's got oil. This guy, oh, fuck is all this? Shoot, the brakes are good. Let's check on the side. Maybe it ain't for sale. Ooh, Turbo is a goddamn rest bucket, though. This looks like a murderer. Looks like, okay, right off the top, you're probably gonna need a new turbo. Check the brakes over here, they good. That turbo look real bad. This is a real bad shape. It's probably like 15, 
$1,500 to $2,000 right off the top. Goats are good. You can forget all the coolers and the fluids. That turbo right there, that battery pack, that right there, I don't know how much batteries cost, but that's a, that's clearly a big, that's a starting bill just to throw this damn truck off the lot. I mean, they may take it to the shop and replace that, uh, well, they're going to have to replace the battery or else they ain't going to sell it. I mean, it's a good truck. You can clearly tell what's already wrong with it. The terrible might work somewhat, but... We're going to have to get up under there. I see some rust that's in the wrong places. I'll write the VIN number down, though, and ask them about it. See, they put new tires on here, so you can't really tell what's going on back here. I mean, it ain't no rust bucket back here, so whoever hit it, they was at least trying to watch it. It's all right. It's got good brakes. Yeah, it's good enough to write the V number down. But like I said, it's got the APU. That's the starting bill. I got the maintenance money to uh, fix the problems, depending on how much that turbo costs. You know, it depends on the miles, too. It looks new. It's got Bluetooth, so it's got to be new. Because my shit didn't have no Bluetooth. It's got to be a 2015 or something. Let me see what they talking about right here. Sometimes there's a cutoff from the battery. It usually, it usually be like right in here too. I don't know how these new trucks work though. Somebody did an inspection. Let me see what they said need repairs. They said it don't need no repairs. Ain't that a goddamn lie? Look at that. None at this time. Ain't that a lie? What they say about the battery? How you doing? Who did this inspection? I don't see no battery on here. I'm just going to hold this since it got the VIN number. I'm just going to keep this with me. I ain't got to write no shit down. It is nice and dead. Let's see if we can find another Pro Star with a working battery. It's kind of rare to find you an international pro store with a Cummins engine. Uh, this might be one that's right kind of dirty. It's a Celadon on it, though. This might have a Cummins, too. Why is this? I don't understand why it's so hard to open these. Go. This gonna come as two. Goddamn turbos are so bad for. Damn. This one needs a new belt bad. I mean, they all seem to be suffering from the exact same thing. That filter, I don't about that filter either. Let me check the wheel. It's got oil. If you ever come up to a truck and ain't got no oil on a dipstick, you need to run away from it. Right off the top. Let me see if we can get some uh, data from it. This one got Bluetooth too, but is it dead? You see weird stuff, you don't even know if it's real. Like I saw this, I saw it just last week. This one got Qualcomm, I don't know if this is right. Oh, that's your heart. You 
53,000 miles. miles for how is the turbo that bad i'll take that too though i mean everything else look cool in it batteries work i don't know about this i see a problem though oh watch this shit when i go to cycle it this right here is jumping crazy watch i don't know what all that's about don't sound right. What's with the damn full blast? Park on their baby. <laughs> Turn all this shoe shine down. Let me fire it up right quick. Man, what speed is the truck? 10 speed. Start is good. You listening for fucked up sounds when you start it up. It's got pre pads. I, I don't think this truck is available. It say available, but let's see. All the gauges is good, but I had to get an oil sample door on this. I'm gonna get the VN numbers though. I'll take those. Like I said, this right here might not be for sale because I mean, he's got if the stickers and celadon written on it. Oh, it's got Matt's force over there. Close this back up. Got the Volvo in the house. I mean, it's just certain engines you just want to stay away from. Freight line alert. What the fuck is going on right here? Maybe that's the size built. I mean, let's see wires hanging out. Close that shit back up. I ain't never seen the inside of one of these. Let's see what they look like. Ooh, this is a damn smoker's truck. Oh, gotta get up out of here. Hey, yeah. Ooh, that ain't for me. Max Force. Got a free liner right here. That's Katie. Can get the door open. Truck dead. Should have known. When the truck is dead, like yeah, they, this truck could have been sitting here for a long time. It really ain't worth popping the hood. It's got spider webs on it. This is. I hear a lot of trucks being started. This one kind of got chrome on it. And over here, this might have been taken care of it. I don't like Volvo, but I'm going to look inside of it. Looks like somebody may have kept the maintenance up on this. We don't know if it's start up. Oh, let me guess, this is the one with no key. If only I could fix. Oh, there you go. Right. Is that where the keys are? God damn it. One thing y'all like about Volvo, you gotta play this damn twist game no matter which Volvo truck you get. It's always the damn twist game with these trucks. Every fucking Volvo. That's one thing I hated about Knight's Volvos, man. This damn key game you gotta play with the initial. God damn. I tell you. <sighs> Shit made no sense. Oh, man. If 
I got that much trouble. Fuck it. This truck ain't even worth getting it. You can't even get the key to turn. Look like it would have been all eight. But uh, I can see why it's back here. Everybody over there waving and shit. Some black pro stars down now. That don't look like it says so. Okay, we got some more internationals. I wonder if this is coming. I might be leaving one of these white internationals. That ain't no kid. Damn. But they all new. This one got a funny smell to it. It's only got a thousand miles though. Let me grab that being up out of that player. It's got to be Cummins because it ain't got no uh, mass force written on it. It's got the APU, power inverter, all that. Heavy haul, stay away from it. We're going to see what happened to the people that roll with me. What the hell are they having? Oh, they having training school right there. I mean, this would be a fun truck to drive, but I don't, I don't really care about the looks of it. That's a 2001, got about 9 million miles on it. Match for us, time across the street. Stole my damn car yet. I got three VN numbers, that's good enough. Like I said, they doing training over there. They train the school, they actually got a par by between two real trailers, so. I ain't never seen a train in school like that. Let me go this way. First train of school I see where they got students actually parking, they actually teaching them how to how to bag. That's these other training schools, they ain't like it. Go over here and ask him some questions. He found him a good truck. How's it coming along? I found me three vids, but I don't know if they're available. They all got less than 50,000 miles though. One of them says got Celadon suit written all on the side. You think so? It was an old song. It's got the refrigerator, it's got the APU in it. Yeah, I did too. Is, that a, is this an international? I don't know. What is this? Cascade of 15 Cascade. Cummins sounds good, huh? Uh-huh. Mass Cummins too. Where we get the list from? Uh -huh. Where we get the list from? Okay. Where we get the list? Can't get the list, and they get it up there. You see the first trailer? Uh, second, she gonna have it in the first trailer. She's posting on the door. Uh, that's why I said we gotta wait till she don't get the list about nine ten o'clock. Ah, uh, really? Well, then we can keep looking in. That's it. That's all. That's it. I seen this one. If I can't get it's it on a brand new one, I'll wait. I'm gonna say. Like a, yeah, check engine light. But, hey, let me get this well, mine's need a new uh, a new battery. The batteries are dead. No, nah, you turn it on.
Huh? You turn it on. I turned the key, it didn't crank up. No, you gotta turn this, uh, the power off. What you mean? What, what, what a switch at? I mean, it was a pro star though. You know, right here, they keep them off. Either here or up here somewhere. It's gonna be in this area where you can turn the battery back. They right. do that so the battery's gonna turn right now, too. I know that. I learned something new every day. Now, this lightweight little Freightliner, this right here, say get about eight, nine miles to the gallon, but something about it I ain't like. Was this the one with a, with a uh, dead battery? I don't like that window either, man. I don't like no trucks with these windows. They need to quit making these shits. It was something about this truck. I like, was this the... It didn't crank. Oh, okay, okay. I see. It's on off. Look at motherfucker the arm. Oh, we learn something new every day. Okay, I see you. No new switch. They need to, uh, they need to get more trucks like this. Okay, let me hop in here again. Maybe we need to reevaluate the situation. Uh, coming through. Ooh, is that a check engine light? I'd be damned if I get a truck with a check engine light, I'll tell you that. Oh man, this one got codes going off. Oh man. Oh, this look like a murderer right here. Oh shit, what all that is? Engine the noise. Oh no, this right here is the devil right here. Two check engine lights. More codes. Oh, you can check this piece of shit off right now. Say no more, boys. Say no more. You can check that off right now. Huh? Shit. Hey, how many check engine lights you got? Shit, this one got check engine lights too. I don't know. Huh? He said it's a 13. See, I know for one thing, my mechanic taught me if it's a damn check engine light on, that motherfucker gonna be in the shop in no time. You say what? Oh, these right here? Oh, I got two legs and I want to write the V number down. Oh, uh, really? I better go put them back then. Hold on, let me. Is this kit worth for sale? Huh? I don't know. I ain't never seen nothing like it. Is this is this for sale? You think so? It's a studio sleeper. Can't handle that like that, boy. I know that. 